In this lesson, we'll work a little bit more on our character's legs, adding additional color and value. All right, fantastic. So uh, here we go. We are continuing on our character's legs. And I'm going to go ahead and jump over here and, uh, again, try to deepen the shadows kind of here on the right, screen right sides of her legs. Um, trying to kind of, again, mold them into more three-dimensional forms. Now, uh, we've been working quite a bit on this particular palette. I'm going to jump over here because I've tried this purple here, and it seems a bit dark. Uh, this one right here is uh, not quite dark enough. So I'm going to jump over here and I'm actually going to grab this color right here. It feels to me like it's a little bit warmer than most of the other colors on this palette, but um, it's going to mix really nicely to kind of add a little bit of value uh, as well as warmth into these shadows. So uh, uh, we still have kind of that cool undertone to them uh, with the purples that we're adding in, but this salmon color is going to work really nicely to uh, just kind of warm things up. Again, we'll come over and use our blender. It's kind of a nice transitionary color between that yellow that we started with, uh, those really warm uh, light values, and kind of those purple values. So maybe even come in here and let's find our reference there we go maybe bring that in a bit over here and a little bit more blending and we'll switch to our eraser really briefly there we go Again, switching to the racer by holding, or rather, hitting the S key on our keyboard for swap, uh, being that it was the last brush that I used. So, uh, come over here and hide those briefly, and turn off our colorless blender. I'm going to start to bring in that salmon color a bit more over here as well. Now, notice that I was stopping my strokes, like, right here. Um, that's probably something that we don't want to do. We want to make sure and continue that down, because we're going to create some inconsistencies in the stroke if we do. Yeah, I probably went just a little bit far, so I'm going to undo back a few times till we get to about there. There we go. All right, don't forget we can always come back in with some warmer tones if we need to. Uh, let's come back in and grab one of these. Add in some warmer tones here. And let me come in here and grab even a little lighter one. All right, fantastic. Well, let's come back over here, back into where we grabbed our salmon before. Uh, that was actually flesh. Where was salmon? I believe it was actually one more to the left. There we go. There's our salmon. So uh, I'm going to come in here and maybe start to, again, darken some of these up. So that one didn't do a whole lot. There, that one's actually doing quite a bit. So we're going to try and run that one maybe once down that inner edge and I'm also constantly kind of looking back up here at what we've done on the face just so I can sort of match the values so you can see here how the values got fairly dark in there um, I also want to not forget about some of the colors like this one here a little warmer value that may be a little bit dark as of yet We can blend that pretty heavily, but we're obliterating a lot of the things underneath it here. So uh, let me just run the eraser down the edge. And maybe we can come over here, run that once right there. There we go. Blend that pretty heavily. And run our eraser again down that edge.
being ever so careful not to destroy anything on the <laughs> the side of the line that we want to keep. So, all right, so those legs are looking pretty good. I'm feeling like they're a little bit warm, but um, they're not too far off from what we've got going up here. So, uh, again, we could come in if we really wanted to, uh, shrink our brush down even more. Let me switch back to my brush, our colorless blender. We could even run another line or two, uh, even getting into some of these even darker values. Again, really depends on exactly what you want to go for. All right, so um, let's just do a spot check really quickly with our highlights and shadows. You can see those are matching up pretty well. Uh, let me come over here using my colorless blender, and let's see if we can't blend this highlight, push those warm values back just a little bit. I'm starting in the lighter areas. Now this is a, as opposed to using a soft eraser or something like that. If I wanted that highlight to really encompass this entire shape that I've drawn, we can try and push those yellows back a little bit, just like so. All right, those are looking pretty good. Now there are a couple other subtle shadows, things like uh, in the crack on the side and underneath her kneecap. Um, let's come in here, grab our colorless blender, turn that off. And maybe come in, turn our highlights and shadows layer off. Let's try maybe something like that. Kind of get a little point of reference here. Might even go with a little smaller, uh, a little smaller brush here. This one should work pretty well. This is the uh, super brush nib, and we'll come in here. Take a peek there at what I drew. Has something like that. All right, that's pretty dark, and we'll need to blend that in. Um, but you can see we're getting the point across. Now I hit the S key to switch back. I'm going to go to my colorless blender and just kind of go to town, blending that in a little bit better. See if we can't soften that up some. And you can see here how really in the computer these uh, these markers are are fairly easy to manipulate with the blender. So uh, in real life, unfortunately, they're not that quite that easy to uh, manipulate. But um, by all means, the computer does a spectacular job in really replicating these markers um, fairly accurately to what they're like in real life. And just come in here and sort of blend that a bit. All right, great. So um, again, we could do the exact same thing over here if we'd like. Let's come in and uh, sort of spot check our shadows that I've drawn in there. Going to have one here on this side. I have one sort of right there. And probably have a little bit up here as well. And we'll just come in with some additional colors, kind of work to blend those into place. And let's come in and use an actual colorless blender again. Kind of soften that up. All right, fantastic. All right, so like I said, we could spend really as much time as we really want to on uh, these legs. Uh, again, keeping in mind that this is not the focal point of our image, the legs by any means. So uh, let's go ahead, let's take a look at this shadow up here really quickly. And maybe come in with our medium broad nib. See if we can't darken that up just a little bit. And 
and holding down the space bar to rotate my canvas around just so I get a little better angle. And if we need to, we can grab our colorless blender and just sort of soften that edge a little bit. And control zero to fit that back into my screen. And all right, so the legs are looking pretty good. I mean, I may touch them up a little bit more in between lessons, but uh, we've really only got one area of skin tone left that, uh, that we haven't touched yet, and that's her hands. So um, once we knock the hands out, then we can begin moving to things like hair and her wardrobe. So um, in the next lesson, let's go ahead and pick up where we're leaving off here, and we'll go ahead and begin working on her hands.